Welcome back. In this video, I was doing some weed whacking and I noticed a lot of similarities between the battery on my weed whacker, which is a lithium 24 volt Royal B battery and the 18 volt hyper lithium rigid batteries. The tracks seem very similar. I measured the pin distance and they're the same. I just think there's a little block in there, kind of like a little block that was in a previous battery. My neighbor has a Black & Decker chainsaw, and I had a few of these batteries that I bought. These were on clearance. And I noticed there was just this little block up top that actually stopped it from fitting his chainsaw. So I cut this little block off, and it fit. In an effort to try to get one battery, which are mainly all my cordless tools, which are rigid, over to all the rest of my things, like this Froyobi 24 volt weed whacker battery. I'm gonna turn these batteries down so we take a closer look at this and see if we can make some modifications to make this work. And let's see how a 24 volt weed whacker will run off of an 18 volt rigid battery. When I took a closer look, there is not much difference there at all. Clips are in a different spot. We probably got a block set up. I took the covers off the batteries because it's a lot safer when you're modifying the blocks or anything like that. Especially since these are right where the pins are. That's in regards. Now, I don't want to mess up the rigid at all. I want to keep the rigid batteries clean. But the weed whacker is 10 years old. I, I don't care if I cut a little section out of there. With a little bit of tweaking, Plus with the blocks off, it's actually a lot easier to see. I mean, I could I measured everything out and I made sure all the pin alignments were the same. Of course, when you do this, use a plastic piece when you're measuring the distance of pins. Uh, you don't want to short them out. I was looking at this and the way it fit in. And basically what I saw rigid hitting on was a little block underneath here. This little section right underneath there. And the one rail was hitting on the positive side. So I had to cut a little notch. I cut a little too further over there, but I cut a little notch out there and I removed this block down here. And then just to make the clips work, so if the battery fell out, I, there, was a, there was a piece in the middle. As you can see, the way these are separated clips here, those piece in the middle there. So I just took a chunk out of that so it was clear all the way across. So now when you put the rigid battery on there, positive and negative are the same. It's two terminals. It's not using the temperature sensor. Temperature sensor is only seem to be used for the charger side of things. But now when you put that rigid on there, that clips all the way down. Nice and flush at the bottom. Do the clips actually click? No. Well, they do. Part way. You see, I can knock that, knock that up a bit. And it goes into those little clip sides there. That will just prevent the battery from falling out if it gets loose. It's, it's also disconnected at that point. It has to be all the way down for that to actually function. But all the way down is nice and tight. If it comes loose, it's not coming out. Not unless you actually depress the clips because theirs are in the middle with no block in this. So, well, 24 volt lithium Ryobi weed whacker running off run off of uh, an 18 volt rigid battery. And well, the answer is yes, quite well. You can always underpower a motor. You, you may not be able to overpower a motor. I mean, powering a motor up too much might be a bad thing, but you can always underpower it. Now my battery is still good for my weed whacker, so I'm not going to not use it. This is just gonna give me an option that sometimes you hit that last stretch when you're weed whacking your property and you got like 10 feet to go and your battery dies. Well, now I can slap an 18 volt in there and finish it off. That's what I'm planning on doing. The weed whacker, like I said, 10 years old, never been cleaned, definitely needs cleaned up. I may actually do that. Looks like a weed whacker again, look at this. 
I forgot this was silver and black until I cleaned it off. Tore it all down. Put a little drop of oil in the motor. Nine, nine, ten plus years running here. 18 volt hyper lithium ion rigid. Motor spins a little slower on the RPMs, but I'm expecting it to still cut about the same. If I feed the string out past the blade, even with the 18 volt, it will still cut it. Cut it right off. Well, I just lost it. It was down there. We'll slap the uh, other battery on. So let's take it over here. Is this the right angle here? Yeah, it's good. Cut that little section right out. And we'll switch it back once again to the Rigel or Rigel Rigid 18 volt. Like I said, it's for that last run when the battery is running low or you don't have enough to finish your yard. Yeah, this is just a replacement to pop in. This, I'll admit, is extreme weeding. So you, you know, you know I was gonna try this. Uh, I don't think I wanna mess with my new tools though. I didn't give it a full charge. What am I up to here? I'm up to 24.419 volts. So yeah, it's almost fully charged. The little battery meter says, Four bars. All right. See what it does. I got the old drill. Why not put it through? Wow, man, this thing. That makes it one heavy drill, let me tell you. I don't know if I'd want to use a drill with a battery this size. Maybe that's why everybody switched to 18 volts. Oh, that electric brake kicks hard. Whoop. I have no reverse. Oh, I have neither. Of course it would do that. They pop something on the battery. Battery did not like the current draw. Battery says one bar already. If I put it back on the charge for two seconds, I'll bet you it'll come back to life. It says it's charging. Look at that. I got the full bars. It's a protection circuit. Now, the newer batteries, like the rigids, will provide more power overall current. These are older, much older batteries. So, it probably triggered an overcurrent mechanism and killed it out. 18 volt batteries, they put out more power, more. That's why they can run the weed whacker. But the other direction, no, cannot use the 24 volt battery on my 18 volt drills. And that's a shame too, because I was looking forward to blowing up that drill. But protection circuit. Yep. Well, I hooked it up backwards. Back up to 24 volts. It's running faster with this. Cut off. Drill still alive? That doesn't matter. I was just interested in getting the rigid to work on the weed whacker, which it does. So the other modification I did to the battery to make it work on the rigid, I guess it probably doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I was curious. For the drills to kick out this 24 volt Ryobi, how much power are these drills drawing? I'm gonna leave that for in the next video. Be sure to check out you can probably find a card up here in the corner or a link down in the description. Be sure to jump over to that video 
and check out to see just how much power we actually get off of this battery and when this battery cuts out. But I think I'll end the video here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful and maybe get you thinking about what kind of batteries and what kind of tools you have in your house and whether you can find to see whether they'll fit and if it's just a simple block you have to knock off or maybe a block on the tool you might have to knock off or a block on the battery you might have to knock off. Be safe, keep on tinkering, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.